Hi, everybody. We are going to be taking the mid unit retest for ratios today. There are 10 questions that I'm going to read aloud to you. After I read the question aloud, go ahead and pause this video and do the work in your notebooks. Remember to do the work in your notebook with a pencil or pen and use a calculator when you need it. Question number one. This picture shows there are three dogs and two horses. The ratio of dogs to horses is blank. Write your answer with a colon in between the numbers and no spaces. For every blank dogs, there are blank horses. Pause and do the work. Question number two. Here's a diagram that describes the cups of green and white paint in a mixture. There are green paint cups and white paint cups. Choose all of the statements that are true about this ratio. So there are four green paint cups to two white paint cups. So again, select all that apply. There may be more than one correct answer. The ratio of green to white is four to two. The ratio of white to green is two to four. The ratio of green to white is eight to six. The ratio of white to green is one to two. The ratio of green to white is eight to 10. Select all that are true. Pause and do the work. Question number three. Mustard seeds in tablespoons are in yellow. Chili powder in tablespoons is represented in red and salt is represented in blue. What is the ratio of mustard to chili to salt? Fill in the table based on the picture. So this is where you need to draw this table in your notebook and fill it in. Pause and do the work. Question number four. Here's a diagram showing a mixture of red paint and green paint needed for one batch of a particular shade of brown. There are three reds for every two greens. Draw the chart in your notebook to figure out how much green you will need if there is nine red. Pause and do the work. Question number five. Please choose true or false. Are these equivalent ratios? Three to five equals 12 to 25. Is this true or false? Pause and do the work. Question number six. A recipe calls for five cups of flour to every three eggs. Please draw a double number line and answer the question using it. So in your notebooks right now, go ahead and copy this double number line, label it with flour and eggs, and the ratio is five to three. In this recipe, the ratio of flour to eggs is five to three. If I made this recipe using six eggs, I would need to add blank cups of flour. If I made this recipe using 20 cups of flour, I would need to add blank number of eggs. Pause and do the work. Question number seven. I went to the apple orchard this weekend I bought six pounds of apples for $9.
create a ratio table or double number line to answer the following questions. Remember, you need to make your answer be money. So if you get the answer 1.1, you need to write $1.10 because money has two places after the decimal. So go ahead and draw your ratio table or your double number line representing six pounds of apples for $9. And we wanna figure out for one pound of apples, I paid blank. For seven pounds of apples, I paid blank. Pause and do the work. Question number eight. This double number line shows cinnamon in teaspoons and sugar in tablespoons. How much sugar would I add if I used five teaspoons of cinnamon? So do the work in your notebook and then select an answer. No answer text is provided, no answer text is provided, five, six, or 10. Pause and do the work. Question number nine. Again, you're going to have to draw this table in your notebook. I went to the fruit stand and I bought four pounds of tomatoes for $14. Please fill in the blanks below. You do not need to include a dollar sign, but you do need to make your answer mean be money, which means two decimal places. So for example, if you get 4.2 when you do your division, that means $4.20. Okay, so we wanna know how much for one pound of tomatoes. And then we wanna know how many pounds of tomatoes would cost $10.50. Remember to use what you know to figure out what you don't know. Pause and do the work. Question number 10. My son and I took our dogs on walks. My son walked his dog 2.5 miles in 30 minutes, and I walked my dog 1.5 miles in 20 minutes. Who walked faster? You're going to want to make a table for these two scenarios in your notebook. So again, my son walked his dog two and a half miles in 30 minutes, and I walked my dog one and a half miles in 20 minutes. Who walked faster? Pause and do the work. I'm sorry, I said that this had 10 questions. It looks like there's 11. So if on your test there's only 10, just ignore this last one. Question number 11. At store A, they sell three packs of soda for $10.50. At store B, they sell two packs of soda for $6.90. Which store offers the better price for one pack of soda? Store A, store B, So go ahead and do the work. And then you may submit your test once you've looked over your answers. Thank you.